What's up family? Marv, one rep at time.net. Gonna do a quick video about blood flow restriction known as BFR or occlusion training. First things first, yes, uh, this is a new setup for, oh, I'm winded, sorry, uh, for one rep layer. It's obviously not fit up, finished behind me, but uh, just be patient, right? It will start to look better as we get settled in. We've only been here for a couple weeks and I decided to buy equipment versus getting a nice storage area. So that was my decision. So blood flow restriction, um, I love it. It was created by the Japanese known as occlusion training. And I need to say right now, if you are a former IV drug user, I strongly discourage you from doing blood flow restriction. Why? Well, you're gonna be putting a tourniquet, it's exactly what it sounds like, on your limbs and performing exercise. And I think that could be a very dangerous trigger. Now, blood flow restriction, real quickly, Dr. Jeremy Lenicky did a bunch of research on it. It will stimulate muscle growth similar to heavy reps. It could speed up healing of joint injuries. Um, it's great for your tendons. It doesn't burn your central nervous system out and you're able to get a lot of volume in without wrecking your joints, wrecking your central nervous system. So I'm a big fan of it, but a lot of people misinterpret it or not sure what to do. So what do you use for blood flow restriction? You could use knee wraps. They're like eight to 10 bucks maybe. So knee wraps are great. Um, I now only use these when I'm doing blood flow restriction on legs and I will explain how to do legs next. I recently, well, my girlfriend got me for Christmas, quick release medical tourniquets. These are 10 to 15 bucks. So for 20 to 25 bucks, you get everything you possibly need. And I like these for my arms. They don't really work well for my legs because obviously they're a lot thinner. And so it uh, covers up a lot of, the, the, the knee wraps up top will cover up a lot of the musculature of your arms and it's everything below the wrap that gets the occlusion or blood restriction effect. Um, and these just simply aren't thick enough to apply enough pressure for your legs since it is a lot larger muscle group. So what you do, I'm going to throw a, a picture on the screen right now. It's 30% of your one rep max. 30% of your one rep max. Let me say it again. 30% of your one rep max. So, lightweight. What you're going to do is you're going to perform 30 reps. Rest 30 seconds with the blood flow wrap still on. Perform 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. Take them the bleep off, okay? Do not leave them on longer than that. When it comes to knee wraps, you can only use like a seven out of 10 tightness, specifically for the legs. When it comes to these quick release medical tourniquets, nine out of 10. So you could get pretty damn tight. What you, you should feel a pump beyond what you've ever felt before. Pressure will build up, lack of gas is building up, waste pipe products are building up. That's probably why it creates such a great anabolic response. But we don't want to cut off arterial blood flow. So if it starts to turn red or purple and it bleeping hurts, right? You can feel every heartbeat to where it is painful beyond what you could stand. You've done gone too tight. So play around with it. Again, seven out of 10 tightness for leg wraps, nine out of 10 for blood flow restriction. Now this is for limbs, okay? Obviously you can't occlude your chest, which would be awesome if I could. Um, can't include your back, which include your arms and your legs. Uh, I don't see any benefit of doing a multi-joint movement for your upper body unless it's like a, a slow chin up for your biceps or a close grip bench press. Just do single joint exercise movements like curls, press downs, overhead tricep extensions, God forbid kickbacks if you like kickbacks. Well, if you get a good connection with kickbacks, kickbacks. Um, any set of curl, anything like that. That's what you do for your arms. Um, it doesn't really work for shoulders, obviously, because the line's gonna be right about here and your shoulders aren't getting occluded. It's everything below the wrap. For legs, again, I don't really see any benefit of doing them with squats or with deadlifts. Now, leg press, you gotta go light, potentially. Um, I like to do them for leg extensions, which we've done a video on the dangers of heavy leg extensions. I'll link that down below. Um, but leg extensions, because you could go lightweight, I'm a big fan of. Leg curls, um, I have done body weight um, split squats, holy bleep, that is really difficult. And goblet squats, so that type of, but I wouldn't do heavy barbell training, or, because remember, it's not supposed to be heavy, it's 30% of your one rep max. Um, I wouldn't do barbell, I would do goblet, because if you get in trouble, you can just drop it. Uh, I don't see maybe remaining deadlifts, but again, I think it's better suited for exercises that you can get a better connection and a better pump with. So I love to do blood flow restriction um, to, you know, 
bring up a lagging body part because you could train it uh, more often than heavy training. Um, you could throw it at the tail end of your workouts and then like anything else, it is an advanced technique. So don't do it year round. Do it for anywhere from one to two months at a time. Take some time off one or two months at a time. That way it's a novel stimulus to your body. And again, the pump you are going to get, you've never felt before. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. And so can you believe how much I am in heaven? That's my take on blood flow restriction. I hope, hope this helps out again. If you're a former IV drug user, I strongly discourage you from doing this because using a damn tourniquet is not a good idea. 30% of your one rep max. 30 reps, rest 30 seconds. 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. 15 reps, rest 30 seconds. Take them off. So if you're gonna do buys and tries, um, I always encourage you to do biceps before triceps. You know, pull before push. It warms up your elbow joint. And if for chest and back, right, if I'm doing this, then my back's gonna be already warmed up. I'm in tight, so any tightness will help me keep my shoulder blades back and down. But um, I digress. Do your biceps, take them off, put them back on, do your triceps. If you're gonna do quads and hamstrings, oh, and calves. Uh, the researcher said, you know, just put them at the top of your leg. I don't really get that crazy cramping pump feeling when I put the um, knee wraps on the top of my legs. I like to put them right below my knees. Um, be careful because obviously you don't want to put a ton of pressure in your patellar tendon, but here's a picture. Um, I, that was me in Texas like a year ago. Uh, just doing it on the curb. Uh, doing blood flow restriction with light weight for calves. Holy hell. Um, highly encourage that. And that's my take. So if you like this video, if you learned something, you know, I would be honored if you hit the, the like button. Only click it if you learned something. If you like what I have to say, I'd greatly appreciate if you introduce me, or us, I should say, to your friends and family. And of course, I'm gonna include uh, information at the end about a free resource for you, uh, more information about our website, what we offer. And remember, we can do anything we want, one day at a time, one meal at a time, one set at a time, one rep at a time, marv, one rep at a time.net, blood flow restriction training. Have a great day.